Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, lovely to see you this morning. Uh, it's 9 a.m. in Prague and I'm going to be live today with another fellow entrepreneur. His name is Joseph Jiang. He's from Hong Kong and he's been recommended to me by another friend of mine, uh, Jennifer Cushell. Uh, um, Joseph is uh, launching a program at MIT called The Future Hack for Children for uh, 13 to 18 year olders and in this program, I want to learn more on what this program is all about and um, what needs to be done, who is it for, extra, you know, stuff like that. As you know, in the future, the jobs are going to be not the same as they are, and we all need to be prepared. And the best at 12 or 10 even uh, to be an entrepreneur or to learn uh to be an entrepreneur so we'll ask uh joseph uh what's he doing hi joseph how is he how are you you made it hi hi how are you thank you for uh having me on your facebook live thank you thank you i'm so happy that you finally made it most of the people are like ah! so <laughs> this is my first facebook live actually so there you go i, I exponential not used growth. to using it yeah yes yes <laughs> So connect tell with me the about world instantly. Bit. Yes. Can I tell me a little bit about yourself and then your program, please? Sure, sure. Um, uh, my, uh, I've been involved in, um, in uh, finance for a very long time. So I uh, have been um, studying finance uh, since I was 13 years old. Um, I uh, actually... Uh, have been a, a trader at, uh, on Wall Street, um, working at Deutsche Bank and UBS and Credit Suisse for uh, over 20 years. Um, I own two investment firms on, uh, on Wall Street as well, and I uh, was a partner on, uh, in both of them. And uh, we were fortunate enough to s sell one of the firms <coughs> uh, a few years ago. And that was, um, I, that was one of my uh, dreams when I was um, 16 years old to actually one day own an investment firm in, uh, on Wall Street, and I did, and I um, and we sold the, f uh, the firm a few years ago, and I decided uh, what a great time to go into education and, and teach the youth um, all, you know, some of the things and some of the ways that I've learned uh, in, in the past, and um, and really go head in, you know, um, all in into education. And um, over the last three years, I've been, uh, I've taken um, some fantastic uh, uh, programs that, that I can tell you about and, um, and also founded two ed tech companies, in, in, including this uh, Future Hack, which is a, uh, um, a program for uh, teenagers and for college students um, f uh, held at MIT every year. Okay, so um, tell us more about the Future Hack. Who is this for? As you said, it's for teenagers and college students. Um, how long is it for? And who should attend and who shouldn't attend? Yeah, so uh, this year uh, uh, we have our teenage program, which is from 13 to 18 years old. Um, and it, it's for um, teenagers from all around the world. Um, and last year we had uh, about uh, just under 60 uh, students from 11 different countries last year. Uh, this year we're expecting more. Um, we have a lot more applicants this year. And so we're expecting more um, students from more countries this year. Uh, the whole point is to have a very diverse um, student population so that um, you can have, you can meet people from around the world and really get that uh, global perspective on things that you're trying to work on. So, um, you know, and, and the, the whole program is centered around uh, solving real world problems. So, you know, we, we actually um, go uh, use the, um, uh, the United Nations uh, uh, Sustainable um, Development Goals. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and we try to um, look at, well, we, we have basically three main modules. So first, we really uh, look at the self-discovery part. So 
in order for you to really get to know what problems that you want to solve, you really need to look within yourself to see who you are, what your talents are, uh, what your passions are, what are you really passionate about and what, uh, you know, what do you really want to solve? Because there's a, a, you know, endless amount of problems out there to solve. It's really comes down to what your passions are and what your talents are and who your community is. And that's how, um, you know, that's how you, you uh, know which problems to tackle first. Um, so we go through um, uh, self-discovery and, you know, we really ask each other a lot of questions. We, we really try to find, uh, find out who we are. Um, and then we uh, tie that in with um, uh, some, some uh, technology um, uh, education. So we, we look at all the different technologies that are uh, moving forward, right? So um, whatever solutions you have, most likely you would have to put in the latest technology um, in order to, for that solution to be viable going forward. So we talk about um, the different technologies like AI, 3D printing, uh, robotics, um, nanotechnologies, uh, uh, synthetic biology. All of these things are technologies of the future. And that's the tools that they're going to use um, to be able to, um, uh, you know, uh, basically combine them with their talents and, and their passions in order to make some type of a solution. Um, and once they come up with an innovative solution, then we actually teach them um, how to uh, how to commercialize it, right? So uh, Professor Boalit, who is the um, the head of the entrepreneurship program at MIT, um, uh, gave us a very good uh, um, uh, uh, gave us a very good formula. So you know, MIT likes to put formulas to everything, right? So um, he says uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, is um, innovation times commercialization. And he says, it's really, uh, so if you have an innovation, uh, you're not an entrepreneur until you actually are able to commercialize it. And the reason it's times and not plus is because uh, if you have one or the other, you're still not an entrepreneur. You have to have both. And so once, uh, so, you know, uh, once you have the innovative solution, then we, t we go through the MIT entrepreneurship steps in order for uh, to, to really increase the chances of you uh, succeeding in commercializing that idea. Um, so, you know, the, those are, so, that's our um, overall framework. Um, but we, you know, we have a lot of fun working with all the technologies. We have, um, uh, I mean, this is a teenage program. We have a talent show uh, to, to showcase that everybody can use uh, their, their singing and dancing and uh, talents, as well as um, their art and creative talents as well, and combine that with uh, the things that we learn in technology and coding and, and, and everything else. So yeah, we have a lot of fun there. We have pizza parties and, <laughs> um, and ice cream parties and everything. So it, it's a very good um, time for, for all the students. And it's a two week intensive program um, and at the end of it, the students don't want to leave. That's the biggest complaint I get. <laughs> yeah, you make amazing friends and you don't really want to leave them, right? That's right. That's right. <clears throat> um, so, and the program, how much would it cost for somebody to be enrolled in this program? Uh, the program costs um, $3,900. Um, and uh, that includes the tuition, the boarding, um, and, uh, you know, and, and the whole program for the two weeks, uh, it doesn't include the, the transportation there because everybody has different transportation costs. Um, and what we try to do, we are a social enterprise. So what we try to do is, um, you know, we charge uh, full price for, um, uh, most of the schools, but for developing, uh, schools in developing countries, um, and specifically children with, uh, you know, needy family backgrounds, we do try to uh, provide a, a partial, at least a partial scholarship. Um, and, you know, it's a very selective process. So 
they have to qualify first, obviously. They have to go through the interview process, the application process uh, first. And then if they qualify uh, already, then uh, we go through and, um, you know, if they want to uh, apply for the scholarship, uh, then, then that's, you know, we go through that process uh, again. Now, the one thing that I want everybody to understand is that, you know, if you have the, if your family has the um, ability to pay for this, please don't ask for a scholarship because there are many, many people out there that um, barely, you know, their families barely make uh, this amount for the whole year. Um, and those are the students that we give the, the scholarships to. So there are some very needy people who are extremely smart um, that we had last year who are very deserving. And, um, and quite frankly, their families, you know, barely make, you know, five, five, ten thousand dollars a year. Um, and, and those are the ones that we really want to save the, our um, scholarships for. So, you know, uh, so uh, we do have scholarships. I just want to remind everybody that, hey, these, these scholarships are really uh, for the people who actually really need it. Um, and I, you know, and, you know, some people like to just apply for the scholarships, but I, you know, I just want to remind everybody that that is um, something that's, that's quite important to, to, to remember. Um, now you take the name of MIT uh, with your program. So what's your association with MIT? What kind of yes. or certification would these kids get? Sure. Um, so uh, I went through the MIT uh, Entrepreneurship uh, for Teachers program. Uh, it is taught by uh, Professor Allett, who is the, um, is the head of the department at, uh, at MIT. Um, and he's, this is one of the innovations that, you know, MIT is always on, on the brink of innovation um, in, in, in everything, including education. So most professors um, would only want to uh, keep their curriculum very closely uh, held, right? And they don't want to share that outside of their class. Um, but Professor Allett says, look, you know, my goal is, you know, my dream of the future is that there are millions and millions of um, entrepreneurs everywhere and how can I achieve my goal if I'm only teaching a few hundred students a year? So, um, so they, you know, MIT was the first one to open up um, every one of its classes um, online for people to watch for free. Uh, so if, if anybody out there, any of the young people out there who are watching this right now, um, if you want to uh, learn what every student at MIT uh, is learning, uh, you don't even have to apply. You can simply go on MIT OpenCourseWare uh, and watch any class that you want to watch uh, that's being held at MIT. Now, even Stanford and Harvard uh, and other great schools are doing the same thing now. So, you know, this is, um, this is something that uh, all, you know, all the great schools are, are opening up and giving uh, their curriculum away because they want more uh, exposure. They want um, the smart people who are actually uh, self-motivated to learn this, um, uh, uh, this knowledge to apply to their schools and, and you know, and be even smarter when they uh, come in. Um, so basically... Um, I went through that program a few years ago, and uh, I've actually started this future hack with other people who uh, have also gone through this program. And all of the <clears throat> so uh, so MIT boot camp is uh, uh, or MIT X is actually our knowledge partner. Um, and all the speakers that come are either MIT and we have a few Harvard um, uh, professors and, and uh, entrepreneurs that come uh, in and speak as well. So all of the speakers are very um, uh, successful entrepreneurs from MIT or Harvard. They come in and they, uh, uh, they tell us their stories. 
But you know, the surprising part is that they don't come in and boast about their successes. All of them, without me saying anything, all of them actually come in and talk about their failures and how they failed. And it's, it's with those stories that the students really understand how to succeed. You know, it's, it's succeeding through failures, right? You don't just have uh, all these successes without uh, many times more failures. So the partnership you have is with the MITx, and the certification which uh, which you would be giving would be with the um, uh, Future Hack, not from MIT, I believe. Yes, we. Um, the certification is from um, from uh, Future Hack, and <clears throat> and uh, you know, uh, but it it does say that we are in partnership and uh, that the um, the curriculum and the knowledge is shared from MIT. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. So, so it's for, uh, just, just one other thing is, um, uh, it's all about the flipped classroom. So it's not just about the two weeks that we're there. We actually, um, once you're accepted, we give you a, a, a list of books and uh, videos to watch. So it's really about learning and um, uh, before you come into the class, uh, it's, it's all about the flipped classroom, right? So you learn everything on your own and you come in and within the two weeks, we can have all of that time to work on exercises, uh, work on relationships, work on teams and build a project. So it's really on, um, it's really much more than just two weeks of learning. So it's a lot of learning before and endless, uh, you know, and, and basically, um, as much learning as you want afterwards as well. Okay. Um, I run a similar program for students, uh, for sixth graders plus. Um, and my takeaway is that you leave with a business and we help you run it for a certain amount of time or simply guide you basically. Or if you fail, that's even better because now you learn and now you can put it in your CV that you actually failed the business and you're going to start another one. Um, so what's your takeaway? What after two weeks, the kids uh, go away with 60 great new friends, uh, a great mentor like yourself, uh, a small a certification. What else are they taking home besides the experience? Like, uh, uh, well, uh, they actually we actually keep everybody um, together in, in uh, groups so um, people can continue to uh, help each other and connect with each other um, after the program. And so, you know, even last year, a lot of the students continued to stay in touch, um, especially when are applying for college. And so what our program does is really helps. Uh, it, it, it's a, um, it augments uh, their uh, co college applications, you know, one, you know, the, the showing that they've taken a, um, uh, quite a different course than your uh, your normal academic camps, um, and basically they can actually show. Um, so one of the things that some of the um, schools are starting to uh, require, or unofficially or officially require, is portfolios, and this is a perfect um, program for that because <coughs> what we do. <coughs> Excuse me. What we do is um, the the activities that they do, they come out with a video um, uh, presentation about um, their project. Uh, they come out with a you know a PowerPoint or or a Canva pro um, uh, presentation. They come out with uh, fantastic public speaking skills that they never knew they had. Um, so this year we actually have. Um, a, um, a professional, a TEDx speaker, uh, Eddie Jong, who, uh, Eddie, yeah, can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? Hello? I think we have a little... Okay, so invite back Joseph. 
Uh, Joseph, if you can hear me, please say hi. And I'm going to try to invite you one more time so that you break up. Sometimes the bandwidth chokes it up. Okay, I think we're back on. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me about the takeaway you were saying, and then it, it kind of broke up. Yeah, you were sorry. Explaining sorry. the takeaways and uh, you know end of the program. Yes. So the takeaways is that, uh, you know, one, you have a, a fantastic community that, um, that you can connect with. Um, and many of the students which are um, actually starting to apply for college or, or just got into a, a, a great university. Um, and you can, uh, you can ask them, you know, their experience. Uh, two, you know, you're connected to um, some very um, experienced uh, speakers and mentors. Um, from MIT, from Harvard, from, you know, from great places. And three is that you have a lot of things in a portfolio that you would need, um, such as a video, um, a, a, you know, a great presentation, um, um, most likely a prototype that you've built uh, that we, we will actually teach you how to do. Um, and, uh, and and some of the students from last year uh, loved the program so much that they actually wrote um, a, a, an article about it. And I said, look, why don't you put that in your portfolio and start up a Medium and a LinkedIn account and publish it online? So that's what they did. And that was their first online article that they published and actually published other articles. So um, they uh, are really, they really feel empowered afterwards because um, going into the program, they didn't think they can do all of this in two weeks. And in fact, um, they can do this and a lot more in two weeks. So, yeah. All right, brilliant program, Joseph. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, I'm glad that uh, Jennifer recommended me. I will uh, hope that my children will be able to make it themselves. Uh, it sounds like a wonderful program. <laughs> <clears throat> are the parents uh, going to be where are they going to stay? Are they staying in? Are you renting some apartments or are you staying at campus or? Yeah, so uh, we actually stay on the Tufts campus, which is Tufts University is uh, about 10 minutes away. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, maybe 20 minutes away from MIT. And the reason is the Tufts University uh, dorms and campus is an enclosed campus. And it has a really nice um, uh, college uh, feel to it. Um, the MIT campus is actually a very open campus. It doesn't have uh, the enclosure and the kind of the safety that we wanted. So, um, so everybody stays in the same dorm, including me. So <laughs> I'm keeping close watch on everybody. There's no parents there, so you know I'm I'm the uh, myself and some uh, and and our team. Uh, we keep a very close uh, eye on everybody, um, and everybody has a great time and, and a safe time as well. Um, and the parents are welcome. Some of the parents come on the last day to watch the, uh, the final presentations, and the final presentations are done in front of real investors, real VCs, uh, real entrepreneurs um, from, uh, from our MIT community. So, um, uh, and we do it in a big, big, uh, you know, auditorium uh, at MIT. So it's um, it's the real thing. Uh, you know, everything that we do is the real thing. We we try to, um, and and if the students don't do a good job, we remind them, hey, this is this is your thing. This is not um, something that this is not for a grade. We are not giving you a grade. If you think that you're happy with it, then I guess. You know, you, you don't really think that the, that you can really do good work, and then and then that really gets them going, and 
and they're very competitive. Um, and uh, in the last uh, one or two days, they really uh, compete to get a great job, uh, you know, done. Um, and the whole team um, comes together and, you know, and there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a, uh, it's not all a smooth process. It's not meant to be, you know, it's meant to be real world. And, uh, and, uh, but at the end of it, they feel a, a massive sense of, uh, accomplishment and um, you know and it, and they feel empowered which is what we really want them to do and and they really realize that um, they can learn anything on their own and that's kind of uh, what what we really wanted to teach them um, you know that was my personal experience I started learning about um, trading and finance uh, on my own when I was 13 years old in, in back in the 80s so um, and that was before I had a computer or, or the internet. And so, you know, because of my experience in learning, um, uh, you know, I really believe, uh, it, I mean, there, there's a great quote from Joy Ito of uh, MIT Media Labs. Um, and he says, um, education is what others do to you. Learning is what you do to yourself. And that really, uh, uh, you know, hit, uh, hit me. And, and I said, you know, that's exactly what happened to me is I really just took it on and said, Hey, I don't really, um, I'm not going to wait till I'm 20 years old and wait for some school to accept me and, and teach me some of this, which they actually don't really teach you anyways. Uh, I'm just going to start learning it myself. And I think that's the attitude that I want the students to come away with at the end of it. And this is how many years have you been doing this? Uh, this is the second year that we've been doing this. Um, this is a, you know, even the MITx program is is a very new program. is It was an experiment, um, experimental program that they did, uh, that they started a few years ago that turned out to be very successful. Um, and I wanted to, you know, have that experience for uh, the teenagers because right around the teenage years, that's when. Uh, your learning curve is the fastest and you really, um, if you open up their minds at that age, then there's really no holding, holding them back. Brilliant program, brilliant everything. I'm so happy you're doing this. Uh, I'm uh, so happy for the kids who are going to learn from this. Um, any last words? No, I just welcome your community, your your kids as well, you know, to, to please apply at uh, uh, futurehack.co uh, slash apply. And, um, you know, I would love to uh, have people in your community apply. Please let me know how I can help, uh, you know, uh, yourself and, and your community as well. I'm, um, you know, uh, thank you, you know, for, uh, I, I really thank uh, Jennifer for introducing us and, and I'm glad you have, uh, a great community there that um, and, and I'm happy to help them. Thank you. My personal goal is to help a million people become an entrepreneur. Um, so that's great. something for which I have written two small booklets. One is the how to steps, 30 yeah. steps of becoming an entrepreneur without money. It was designed okay. for um, you know, people from sixth grade plus. Uh, based mm -hmm. on my own life experience uh, using technology and my own, uh, you know, I never went to college or university to study. So I, I did over 150 different ventures and all that cracks out of that is, is in my book. Lit, actually, it's not even a book. It's really small. Um, and it's all about doing. It's all about pushing people to do and take small little actions which will help them. Um, you know, small things take a lot of time. So I'll send you a copy of it. It's really, really Thank tiny. You. And um, I, if you think we can partner on that and do more boot camps around the world for those um, using this method, um, the, the idea is to leave the kid with a business. Um, even when he's in school, he has a business card of his own business, uh, which yes. he feels proud to. And uh, everybody takes him seriously because the thing is he doesn't take himself seriously and everybody else doesn't take himself seriously. Um, when yeah. I was young, I was selling computers, Commodore 64 games. I was uh, 14. Yeah. And people used to come to my home and say, can you please call your dad? We, you know, we want to buy some games. I was like, who are you looking for? He said, Rehan. I said, I'm Rehan. He said, no, 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 it cannot be you. It has to be your dad. 
So, you know, <laughs> all those things, um, I wanted these people to experience at an early age so that, you know, they make a thick skin. And as an entrepreneur or as anyone, actually, to be successful in anything in your life, you have to be very thick skin and know yourself. And that's what I try to yes. do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and we, you know, I, I, we are very aligned in terms of our missions. And so I'm, I'm really happy to meet you. And um, the other thing is like the stuff that you and I are teaching, um, it, they don't necessarily need to be entrepreneurs and open up their own business. This can be, all of these skills are life skills. Life. Uh, it okay. just teaches you to be a successful human being. It teaches yeah. you how to relate to other people. And it teaches you really how to work within uh, a big group or small group. Um, so even if you're working for Google, working for IBM, working for uh, Apple, uh, these skills come in very, very handy. Trust me. So um, you know, I've I've worked uh, at uh, very large banks, and I've worked for my own uh, startups. So um, you know, all of these skills that I learned uh, since I was uh, you know 12, 13 years old is um you know very very handy for for anywhere that you go so don't don't just think of this as an entrepreneurship um program because it's really uh, about learning life skills and, and hacking uh, yeah and, uh, that's right and, and and basically yeah preparing yourself for the future because everything is changing so fast in the future that uh well, we have to prepare ourselves the most unpredictable future human history will ever create <laughs> that's right <laughs> well said um right. but thank you very much this is this is fantastic and uh i'm glad so many people tuned in to uh, uh to watch this thank you joseph take care of yourself okay I'll, I'll, okay I'll, I'll take care thank you ask my kids to keep bothering you okay <laughs> all right fantastic take okay take bye. care bye-bye